Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video I want to show you that through a combination of factors we can turn uh, this tablet into a very positive experience. So these factors are having a Windows operating system, even if it is RT, a USB port and a Microsoft product such as an Xbox 360 wired controller. Now the benefit of having a Windows operating system system is of course that there is a a whole bunch of resources to draw from when it comes to USB drivers. So, so far when I've been plugging in USB stuff into a tablet, it hasn't complained about anything and everything has pretty much worked. Now, you will obviously expect that the Xbox 360, 360 controller is going to work with no problems whatsoever and that is indeed correct, but it gets better than that because if I plug it in and I go to the control panel in the desktop, you can see that it actually detects the Xbox 360 controller as that precise device. So it means that the drivers are all there and there's potential for further uh, improvements and setup once you get into games and such. And we'll do that now. So if we just come out of here and we find a game that uh, supports a controller which is one right here which is called uh, Reckless Racing and this is a trial version so it's not a full version but what you will see almost immediately when I start using the controller and the game is that it picks up the Xbox controller and it gives me actual options which relate to the um, buttons so that it's detecting that I have a, the A button and the B button and so on. So we'll just skip past that bit and it's saying tap to continue at the moment but now that I start using the controller you can see here that the button option has changed down there because it knows now that I'm using the controller. So if we just quickly go into a game and I probably want to be using the controller to do that so we'll go into a game and we'll play a race and we're ready to go. So I'll just put the tablet to one side a little bit so you can see me using the controller and we should get ready to race. So off I'm going, I'm using the trigger button and what's even better is that there is actual feedback on the controller so it's giving me rumble feedback uh, which you wouldn't necessarily find if you were using for example an Android tablet and plugging in a controller because there's not that many drivers available. It may detect the controller but it won't necessarily give you the uh, feedbacks. Now obviously I'm not playing very well on this because I'm trying to speak and drive at the same time but as you can see it works very well. If I pause it it says press B to resume. If I go to the options uh, which I need to start using the controller again and I go to the controls it gives me the touch controls, the keyboard mouse controls and now finally the gamepad controls and if I um, zoom in for a second you can actually see that they're correctly mapped to the Xbox controller. So this in short summary is a very positive aspect and very promising for the tablet in general in terms of it being almost a mini games console when more games come out uh, you can potentially plug in an Xbox controller and the further potential is the ability to plug the tablet into a television using the HDMI slot, fingers crossed that works, you know I've had problems with that before, but then I'd be able to play a game on a television with an Xbox controller. Of course I could use my Xbox 360, but um, if I've got this out on uh, my travels I could plug this maybe into a television in a hotel and be able to play games. So that's a quick demonstration of how well the Surface RT can cope with games potentially uh, with gamepad controllers. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video.